Hi, welcome to the Craft Channel. My name is Corinne Bratt and today I'd like to show you how to make these little pom-pom peg dolls. So you can use them to decorate a bedroom, pop them on your plant pots, hang them around the house somewhere. Very simple to make and you don't need a pom-pom maker to do it. What you do need though is you need a couple of strangely shaped rings of cardboard. Um, now in the old days when we used to make a pom-pom you would have a, a ring of cardboard and you'd thread the yarn through the hole and through the hole and it took ages and obviously as the hole got smaller it was more difficult to do. So I've cut these, again they're concentric rings but what I've done is I've cut a slit in it um, and also what I've done is I've made sure I've cut a couple of tabs either side of the slit because that means your yarn won't fall off. Um, there is a template if you check the description below you can download it and print them off cut them out yourself so you need two of them because once you've wrapped your yarn around there what you will need to do oh the mystery pipe cleaner come from somewhere is you'll need to put your scissors in between those two pieces of card to cut your yarn so I'm going to start winding it in a nice green and just to start if you hold your yarn against your ring And you can see how easily it is to wind through that gap. And then what I'd suggest you do is move it up to your stopper. And wind it again until you get down to that easy part. And the trick to making a well-formed pom-pom is if you do these lower layers quite loosely, an alliteration there that wasn't intended, but there you go, very loosely, or not very loosely, but don't, you know, don't be tempted to pull your yarn really tight, because what will happen is as you do the layers above it, and I'll show you how to do the layers above it, you can just simply do that by putting your finger in there, this way around. And that's a great thing, if you do this in card, quite stiff card, you can bend that yo-yo, yo-yo, pom-pom maker, without it going out of shape, so you've got an easy way of wrapping. But as it gets thicker and thicker, because of the very thickness of that yarn, these outer layers will be longer and longer, so when you go to cut your pom-pom, it's more of an egg shape than a circle. So if you make these outer layers a little bit tighter, what it should do is when they're cut, is they'll shrink up to the correct length as the lower, looser layers. Again, we'll do a lower layer there. So wrap your pom-pom like this, and uh, because I'm not gonna sit here and wrap this entire pom-pom, here's one that I've already wrapped. And it's, you know, you don't need too much, you don't need to make it so thick, but what you do need to do is make sure that the hole there is big enough to slip a dolly peg through. Now this is your average wooden dolly peg. All I've done is I've painted her legs with acrylic paint and I've just painted a little face on. And what I'm gonna do is you can pop her through the middle of your pom-pom maker. For a bit of extra, extra security, what you might want to do is if you grab a fabric glue, this is a Gutterman textile glue and it's, you know, it's a, a spirit based, quite a nice consistency, it dries really quickly, dries really well. Um, and I've just popped some around her waist. If I pop this on here and slide it down to her waist, and then and this is the moment of truth. If this all goes horribly, horribly wrong, I apologise now. Take your scissors, insert the point between your two layers of card, and then snip. Oh. And what happens is because you've got that dolly peg wedged in the circle at the middle of the pom-pom maker, those bits of yarn should stay there. Do not at this point try and take the cardboard discs out because it will end in tears. 
because what you need to do is you need to tie that pom-pom in place. Now you can do it with yarn, um, but what I've found is if you can get hold of some extra strong thread, now you'll laugh at this, this is a roll of, I don't know, 1930s best linen button thread that I picked up from a charity shop and it is really, really good because it's really quite strong. So take your thread and again, if you wrap it in between the two discs, oh, I can't. Oh, that's why. There you go. This isn't actually as fiddly as it looks. It's just when you're trying to do a job and you're trying to position it so the camera can see everything, it's life's not as simple. So yeah, slide it between the two discs, and don't just do it once, go, whoops, don't wrap it around her head, go round once, twice, three times a charm, get an excess off, and knot it. And what that will do is, because you've got a wrap of three on there, it will tighten up nicely around the body of your peg doll. And then you can just tie it again. Oh. And tie it third time just for security. And your pom pom, as I say, especially if you used a bit of glue, your pom 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 will stay well in place. Just trim those ends. Not right up tight to the knot, because you don't want it coming undone. And then what you should be able to do is just twist your pom-pom template off your doll and puff up her little tutu, like this. And I don't know if you can see from overhead, she is, she's pretty circular actually. You might just want to trim a little bit like that get rid of these bits and we'll give her should we give her a matching top yes we will she needs to take some of the yarn off here to wrap around her although I could have just taken it off the ball you know me I hate waste and uh, that'd be enough Hold your yarn, wrap it around her body, pushing it down. So you know, try to make sure the wraps don't overlap, so that you've got you can build up a nice bodice and just tie it together at the back. And then you can just trim those ends so they match up with the edges of the skirt. And then if you just grab a pipe cleaner, um, typically I don't have a pink pipe cleaner to go with her pink legs. I'm sure I did have one, but that's, I don't know where that's gone. Uh, you don't want her arms to be too long. So if you bend them down and give them a quick twist, especially if you're gonna give these to children, you don't want the sharp pointy ends of a pipe cleaner or a chenille stem as we now call them. Fold it like that, find your glue, and just put a bit of glue around the back of her bodice, the back half of the peg, and pop those arms over there like this. And ideally what you want to do is you want to let that glue dry before you move on to the next step. So here is a different colour pom pom fairy, who is ready with the next step. The skirt could do with a bit of a trim. And then she does look a little bit um, hairless at the minute. So all you need to do is make another pom-pom. You can either use this template if you want a really big hairdo or you can use a smaller template. And what I've done is I've kept, on this one, I've kept the ends of the um, binding cord. I'm just gonna tie a knot in here and trim them off. 
So you can use this as a hanging loop and then you can hang it in a window. And then again, take some of this fabric glue and just pop a bit around her head. Make sure your hanging cord is at the top and then pop a little wig on. Like so. And then when that's glue dried, you can trim out her fringe if you need to. So there you go, really quite quick and easy. Um, to paint the face, what I would recommend you do is don't be tempted to use coloured pens because by the very nature of the dolly pegs, they are wood. And if you use a felt tip pen, it, the ink will just bleed. So what you can either do is you can either paint um, the dolly peg in a flesh colour and then use acrylic paint or Posca pens afterwards to draw the features on. Or if you just seal it with a layer of PVA and then use acrylic paint over the top. And, and I've simply just used acrylic paint on the point of a pencil to dot the eyes, do the nose, do the mouth. You don't even really need to get your paintbrush out. So that's her, that's her and her. And because I feel sorry for this little one here, I am just going to pop her hair on, if I can tie a loop in this knot. Because otherwise she's going to be left out. And also the other thing you can do is you can um, cut cardboard wings out if you wish and just glue them to the back of the doll afterwards and then you can have little spring pom-pom fairies. So there you go, there's our little collection of uh, dainty girls with fluffy hair. Very simple to make and as I say, you don't need any special equipment to do it at all. Hope you like that and we will see you next time. Bye. If you've been inspired to create, please share your makes with us in the comments section below. And if you've enjoyed videos by The Crafts Channel, hit the like button. Want to see more of us? Then click subscribe. See you next time.